everyone welcome back to my youtube channel if you're new here my name is chloe and if you haven't subscribed yet feel free to do so but then of course if you ended up clicking on this video i just want to say thank you and hopefully you will stay until the end so today we actually have a mini haul i was able to get three things from gymshark and i will be showing you some pieces that i got from lululemon's we made too much section and actually some of these were like restocks. My measurements will be included in the description box below along with the names of the pieces that I got. And I know some of these pieces were already on final sales, so there's no guarantee that the same color that I'll be showing you today is still available. But then there are the core colors that you can find on the website. And yes, I guess they're still available, but not for the markdown price. I think that's it for now, and I'll just be adding more information along the way. Um, without further ado, we can get started. Okay, I am going to get started with Gymshark since I only got three pieces. Honestly, Gymshark sale wasn't really that good. I also had like gift cards from back then, so I just thought Black Friday is the perfect time to buy from Gymshark again. So first I will start with these leggings. They're the Adapt Camo Seamless in the green color and I got it in a size medium. So it's a seamless knit fabric. It has a ribbed waistband and it's really stretchy though. It's pretty comparable to the Adapt Animal Seamless, which I really liked. But then the one that I currently have is a size small. While that is very stretchy as well, I have been leaning towards mediums lately because that is my size. They're very stretchy, very good for high impact weight workouts because the waistband really holds you in, keeps you compressed. And for sizing, true to size, probably if you size down, the waistband might dig in, but then it's personal preference. So yes, the Adapt Camo, Camo pattern, and they have this pressed on logo. I'm not sure if this logo will hold up over time, but then we'll see because I'm gonna keep them anyway. And they have this scrunch at the back, which I think doesn't really do anything compared to the Alphalete Amplify leggings. The scrunch on those leggings is pretty subtle compared to this one. It's unnecessary to have this scrunch, but then these leggings are really comfortable. I really like them. Surprisingly, the waistband does not roll down. It pretty much hugs every curve of your body. So these are the Adapt Camo Seamless leggings from Gymshark. Yeah, I have another pair of leggings from Gymshark. So I've heard so many good things about these training leggings and I really love the color. This is similar to the Whitney Amazon V2 leggings from I think in 2020. Yeah, in 2020 because that's the second time Whitney had a collaboration with Gymshark. But anyway, so these are the training leggings. I thought these would be really comparable to the Whitney leggings, especially from the very first launch. Like I expected it to feel that way to be that stretchy but then you could really tell that there are so many differences and i got a size medium in these leggings there's a seam at the top i'm not really fond of that and i find that the seam kind of cuts in or unless i should size up in these but then it doesn't make sense either they also have a pressed on logo which i think is about to peel off I don't know why because I just tried it on just now. <laughs> it's very stretchy as you hold it, like how I'm holding it right now, but then as you wear it, there's just something different about this style. I just can't pinpoint it, but yeah. Slightly brushed, but has that performance feel. Yeah, it has that performance feel to them. I wouldn't say it's as brushed as the Whitney leggings. There's a tendency for these leggings to be scratchy and then these leggings kind of slide down. I don't really understand it as well because the waistband digs in, but then the waistband falls. It doesn't roll down. If, that, if it rolls down, that means I got the wrong size or the style doesn't work for me. This is 7 eighths in length. Very pretty color, no front seam, and then at the back there's like a back seam and then slightly curved seams, which is really nice. And would I keep these? I mean, I guess this would be good for upper body workouts. I wouldn't use them for high impact workouts compared to the Adapt Camo because these slide down completely. I would stick to your true size. I wouldn't size down in these leggings as well. But yeah, um, this is a pass for now. Um, hopefully they'll make improvements 
on the training leggings and yeah i'll try them again next time but for now it's the adapt camo that i will be picking okay, next there is also so much hype around the training collection like the sports bras there were three or four styles the bras look cute functional maybe i don't know i haven't tried all of those this one i have right now is the i think it's the training high support scoop neck sports bra <laughs> i surprisingly like this um, scoop neck in the front, very flattering. It really holds you in and has decent amount of coverage. And then also at the back, which is why I like this one a lot, it has adjustable straps as well. They also have a pressed on logo and it's not gonna last either, but not to worry. <laughs> and then the band at the bottom, it's not the type that digs in. So I really like that as well. For sizing, I got a size large because I'm a large in sports bras, 36A. The reason why I got the large is because of my shoulders and I'm really happy about the length or yeah, the strap length. That pretty much ends the Gymshark Black Friday haul. And then now we're moving on to Lululemon. I finally got to try these unlimited high rise tights in the 25 inch. The people on the Lululemon subreddit couldn't stop raving about these unlimits. I'm not sure if they're going to be discontinued as well because the core colors are on markdown, which is insane. Like, why? This is in the color True Navy. I'm not sure if you could see it completely. And I really wanted darker colors this time. This is how it looks like in the front. It's pretty much like an inverted seam or in I don't know how to describe it. And then the front seam um, is pretty much long enough and you wouldn't get any risk for camel toe. They're very stretchy as these are also made with the Nulu fabric, same as the Alliance. But compared to the Alliance, it's thicker because there's like a slight seam at the back, but it's not the type that digs in as well. These honestly feel great. I would just use these leggings for low impact activities or yoga because they're made with Nulu, very delicate material. I would say these are more delicate than, than the Alliance but I'm not disappointed. So yeah, and it's nice to have a core color once again. And yeah, if they're being discontinued and if you find out they're still available, I would try these out. So yeah, the Unlimited High Rise Tights. The next item I'm going to talk about today is the shirt. And I just realized this is the only shirt in the haul. But then anyway, this is the Kate's Tea in the Sonic Pink color and in a size eight. I had one before but that was a size 6 and I really liked how it looked. It's just that the sleeves on the KC is pretty snug which is why I would size up. Like that's why I got a size 8. And it's really flowy. It's made with um it's made with Pima cotton if I'm not mistaken and it's like a very stretchy smooth sw smooth and slightly sweat wicking. This is not a workout top, this is more of like a casual lounge piece and this was also on Markdown um, during Black Friday, which is why I got this. But yeah, this really feels so nice, like an everyday shirt, especially nice for the summer. For sizing, you could size down if you worry about it being too boxy but i wouldn't size down because of the sleeves being too snug if you have like smaller arms you could definitely pull it off in sizing down but you could definitely stay true to size or if you want like more length or a looser fit on the sleeves you could size up just a very simple lightweight shirt and minimal logo at the back and yeah kate's tea sonic pink the next item the second to the last item is the adapted state high-rise jogger this is one of the items once again that many people were raving about because these are very functional you could wear them for lounging for casual and then these are also great for working out and i finally got to try these because they were out of stock for the longest time and then what a surprise this is also the sonic pink color to match with the kate's tea i mean they have different fabrics but it isn't obvious that they're slightly different in shade, I don't know. These adapted state high-rise joggers, they're made with the abrasion resistant fabric. It's more of that windbreaker material, like it's a very swift 
lightweight material i think this is why you could wear them outside when it's cold as well because it has like a windbreaker feel this is very sweat wicking and actually surprisingly stretchy the only thing though is this color this color specifically is sheer so i would be careful with what i'm wearing underneath but then for the other colors like the true navy the black i think there was like a rhino gray or red merlot there was one more color i can't can't remember but those are completely squat proof no problem about that but i really wanted to try the adapted joggers because i've heard so many good things my non-legging size is an eight so i got an eight in these ones and even if there's a drawstring it stays put it doesn't fall down so i'm pretty impressed with these they have zipper pockets on both sides and then also you could wear this on a warm day like you could also adjust the length of uh, the pants the they have like a zipper at the bottom and then you can open it and then your legs are just free to go <laughs> i'm so happy about these joggers and i hope that more will go on markdown because they're pretty pricey honestly but yeah this is the regular style there's also a fleece version and i have not tried those yet but i think those are pretty much better for the colder seasons but these these already work for me that's it for the adapted safe joggers we have one more item and this item was actually available in several colors during black friday but then the color that i had was available a few weeks before the black friday sale and the color matches the scuba half zip that i'm wearing right now which is lavender dew so i got the scuba fleece joggers i think these are 28 or 29 inches long i'm happy with the matching set i love matching sets because you can't go wrong with them very simple style one of their classic styles actually many people also love these scuba joggers and i just wore these for a walk outside and it was cold there was like a wind chill but then the style really helped me there's like a fleece lining inside a very thick one and then there's a drawstring outside but then at the same time you can also move the strings inside because look at this not sure how you explain it it matches what i'm wearing right now and yeah this is much older which is why it's a bit faded the pockets do not have zippers and they're pretty much they're not as spacious as the uh as the pockets from the adapted state joggers but they're pretty much okay as well they keep you warm and they have cuffs at the bottom they're not as stretchy as they're made with fleece and cotton and the cotton doesn't really stretch out as much but then there's like a little stretch to them these are not as stretchy as the ready to rule joggers like those are absolutely stretchy this one stays put it has more structure and yeah if you're looking for fleece joggers Please jogging pants, definitely try the scuba joggers. They're definitely so durable and they will last long. And this is also like my first pair of scuba joggers because whenever they go on markdown, they always run out of stock. And I was glad I was able to get my hands on this pair. I also have a try on clip of me wearing this and the joggers together. And it's just like your perfect cozy lounge set. For sizing, I would recommend sizing up because if you stay, like for example, in my case, my legging size is a six. If I stayed at the six, I would say this part, like the front seam or your front would have issues. And since they're not as stretchy, um, it's gonna be like stiff, like by the legs. So if you want an oversized fit, definitely size up. But there's also another style of the scuba joggers. I think they're the French Terry style, no fleece inside. I think those are stretchier. So yeah, I just keep in mind for the fleece ones, definitely size up for a cozy and a nice fit. And yeah, this is actually the last item of the haul and we're done once again. Okay, that actually marks the end of my mini Gymshark and Lululemon haul. If you have any questions, concerns, feedback, or anything you want to say to me in general, feel free to leave them in the comment section below. And if you found this video helpful, feel free to like or even subscribe because I honestly do not know when I'll be posting next. But then not to worry, there are many more hauls to come. But I wish you a great holiday season and I will see you in the next video. Bye!